What up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here in the garage like always, you know, always hanging out, always working on the cars. So today, I'm finally gonna do something that you guys have been requesting for a long time and honestly, I didn't even know until uh, till yesterday I tallied it up. So I have the final prices of what this car costs to rebuild. So for you guys who are new here, um, this is my 2016 Hellcat that I bought from Copart and I've done a whole rebuild on it. So had a little bit of front end damage, Need a little bit of framework. Um, I, did, I did a couple other things. I did the full wide body on that. You can go watch those other videos of me doing all that stuff if you're new here. But I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time, all these prices, because obviously you guys want to know, it was it worth it? Um, should I have just bought you know, a normal Hellcat, not wrecked, or was the buying it wrecked and fixing it myself and doing all that worth it? How much did it cost and all that good stuff? So I got the final, uh, final breakdown and we're gonna go over it. So I guess, um, let me take a seat and you know, go over this with you guys. All right, so here is the, the build sheet. You gotta be careful about the back into my car. So here's the sheet. I got it all written down. Um, you guys, excuse my handwriting. That's the one thing that I'm not good at. Probably the worst, I'm the worst. My, look at this handwriting. Awful, it like, looks like scribbles, but you know, I'll help you guys out with that. So first things first is what I bought the car for. So I bought the car for a lot of you guys already know. I bought it for $26,750. Um, I bought it from California, so I had to have it shipped, and that was $900. And then the fees after buying the car was $1,258. So that comes up to, uh, comes out to um, right under 30 grand after shipping. So shipping, copart fees, car, all the fees and everything to my door, I was right under 30 grand. I think I had 29.5 into it or something like that. Um, I'm like, I don't have my calculator, so I can't add this up. So, car to my door, 29.5 before we even buy parts. So, the most expensive parts on the whole thing were the fenders and the bumpers. So, as you guys know, I did the wide body kit. Um, I'm the first one on YouTube to ever do the OEM Dodge uh, Demon wide body kit. So, I did it all just like OEM, pretty much identical to a normal car. Um, so that was 2000 I paid for the front bumper, um, the wide body fenders, and then also the wide body rear fenders. So now we're at two grand, and then we got the wheels and tires. So I bought OEM um, red eye wide body Dodge uh, wheels and tires, and then I sold my old wheels and tires that were on here that had bald, bald tires. So if I wasn't gonna buy um, the wide body wheels and the, do the wide body, I would have to buy tires anyway, so I kind of saved on that because I only paid uh, 1600 for my wheels or something like that, but I had to pay shipping and stuff. But um, the wheels in the wide body cost me $1,234, and here's the reason, because I sold original wheels, so that discounted the price of um, those wheels. So pretty much after taking the 1500 out that I sold them for and buying those and also the wide body pieces, there's a couple other pieces of the wide body that I included with this price was 1234 bucks. Then we got some miscellaneous, I got the catch can because if, if you guys don't know this car is making 800 wheel now. Um, I did a catch can, I did a, a pulley. Um, the, the pulley I got sponsored for from Metco, they hooked me up. Big shout out to Metco if you guys are watching this. Um, thank you so much, that means a lot for you guys, your guys' support behind the build. Um, hopefully, you know, we get another supercharged car in here and you guys can, uh, you know, help out with that one too. So, definitely dope that you guys did that. Um, so that was, the catch can was 190 bucks, the belt was 50 bucks, and the power steering core was another thing I needed, that was 121.95. And then radiator, radiator fans, and the whole fan assembly and the radiator and all the inner, all the uh, coolers up front was $830. And then we got the LED uh, door markers that I put in last video, the little Hellcat signs, that was 40 bucks. Well, I, I didn't need to do those, but I mean, they look cool. So I'm including everything, all the little stuff. All right, so now we got the headlights. So headlights, crash bar, were $800. Um, that the front crash bar is that big metal piece. With the headlights, those headlights were, uh, I don't know, they're a lot of money, but I got a good deal. I paid 800 bucks for the full crash bar and the headlights, which I think that was a banging deal because the headlights didn't even have any broken tabs. A lot of the ones online had a whole bunch of broken tabs and stuff. Um, now, we got the AC and exhaust. Um, my boy John at Country Club Exhaust, big shout out to you, hooked me up on that. Um, I guess that would have been like probably 400 bucks, 300 bucks to do all that stuff. They did he fixed the exhaust and he recharged my AC, but he hooked me up. Charged me 150 bucks. Um, I didn't really want to share how much he charged me, but you know I'm being honest with all this stuff, so you know why not? Thank you, John, if you're watching this. Big shout out to you. 
Um, also, the red seat belt. So in last video, um, you guys saw that the guy I bought this from screwed me. Um, he sent me locked up seat belts. He told me they're good. But big shot at the safety restore. They're hooking me up. Um, I gave him a call, told him my situation, and they're more than happy to sponsor me, which is super dope because I got kind of screwed on the seat belts. The guy, it was crazy, dude. This guy was literally insane. I don't know. He was freaking freaking out telling me that I was trying to screw him when I tried to make a refund. So I just said, screw it. I'm going to send him out and have him rebuilt. But safety store was able to hook me up, take care of me, which means a lot. Big shout out to you guys too. Um, and also the next thing, uh, the seatbelts aren't in yet. I didn't need to buy those. So I guess you could take off the main price and I can still sell the stock ones, but I guess we'll see. I'll let you guys know in the future what happens with that. Fluids. Uh, rate radiator fluid uh, power steering fluid a couple other things was 108 bucks oil I did a got a full oil change kit for this thing all the oils the filters was 94 bucks I haven't changed the oil. I'm gonna do that probably in the next couple of days um, But I did include that with the price and then miscellaneous 30 bucks 24 bucks um, 28 bucks 67 bucks something like that and then the sensor that fixed the motor problem um, I was having the car go into limp mode. I had to buy a sensor for 45 bucks. So that's everything um, it really didn't need that much work. Um, all right, so the final price comes out too. Um, if you guys are good with math, you might be able to take a guess. Um, my goal was to stay under 35 grand on this whole build. That was my goal to stay under. I didn't want to pay. I don't want to have more than 35 grand this car, uh, like fixing it and everything. So the final price of fixing it, <coughs> all said and done, was 35,000 and 95 dollars. So that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty good deal, in my opinion, um, for a wide body Hellcat 2016 Challenger that's making 800 horsepower. 35 grand ain't bad. That's honestly a really good deal. Um, the cheapest Hellcat I found in the country um, is like 40 grand, and that's not what they go for. That's just like the cheapest one in the country I could find. With like it's kind of similar to mine, clean title, not wide body though. Is like 40 grand. Um, and they range from 40 to 50 depending on the mileage and how clean they are and different things. So this car, if it was a clean title and it wasn't a wide body, it'd be worth between 40 and 50 grand. The wide body cars, the cheapest wide body Hellcat, I don't think they started making them until 2017, but the cheapest one I could find was like 55 grand and that was like a good deal. Like usually the wide body cars um, go for around 60, 65, I mean, they go all the way up to, I mean, a demon costs freaking 120 grand. A lot of people are, that's what people are getting for them. So I think it was a really good deal. Um, since my car is an OEM wide body, it's not like it's some knockoff aftermarket wide body. It's OEM. Um, it's the same as the demon, same all of those. So that's a really good deal. Um, 35 grand all said and done is, I mean, you can't really beat that to be honest, in my opinion, for that car. In my opinion, I'm very happy with it. Um, worked out good. So. You know, I'm happy. Um, if I wasn't to do the wide body, it would have cost me probably $1,700 cheaper. Um, the wide body cost me a little bit more to do, but it was worth it. Um, the wide body cost, I think, $2,500 to do, but since I had to buy, I would have had to buy um, a fender and I would have had to buy a wheel or I would have had to buy tires. So that would have been a lot of money there. So it was kind of a no brainer to do the wide body, in my opinion, because I love the way it looks. And also, I mean, I needed new tires anyway, so it worked out great. Um, it wasn't that much money. Definitely worth that extra 1,700 bucks in my opinion. So that's that. Um, 35 grand, no, 35,900, or no, $35,095. That's the total. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Drop a comment if you think it was worth it, if you guys would have done it. Um, obviously, you know, I got to make YouTube videos on it too, and I'm gonna continue to make videos. Uh, this channel isn't really a rebuilding channel. It's more just my life. Working on stuff, hanging out with friends, all that good stuff. It's just... All around, I'm not like a rebuilder. That's not what I am. I just have worked on cars my whole life, and you know, I've seen it, and I really wanted it. I mean, the story of me buying the car is pretty crazy. I'm going to talk about that maybe in the future. Um, I want to like go over how crazy it was that I got this car, just because it's like this car was such a big accomplishment for me buying it. Let alone making videos, all that stuff is. I mean, all the subscribers, all you guys, um, all my fans. It just means so much that you guys watch my videos. Um, but I'm going to do a video in the future about how I got this car and just how crazy it worked out and just how just blown away by, I am by the whole situation. But um, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the price. So I appreciate you all watching. Um, and, you know, if you got any questions about anything about the car, you know, drop a comment or DM me on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is Judas Garage. And make sure if you want to support your boy more than you already do by watching these videos, then go cop yourself some merch. Go grab yourself a hat, a shirt. Um, this is just something I, I've got all different types of stuff on there. I've got camo, 
uh, black, white shirts, some hoodies, some sick hoodies, especially because it's cold out nowadays. But so that saying that, that's going to be a wrap for this video, so I appreciate you all watching. Um, and I guess I'll catch you next time. So, peace.